Hi, my name is Olivia and I'm going to teach you about the difference between top-down and bottom-up processing. And this topic uh, lies within cognitive psychology, which is the study of the human mind and its type of mental processes. So first we're going to talk about top-down processing, which is driven by information and prior knowledge that you already have. So in the presence of top-down processing, you are utilizing your prior knowledge in order to come to a decision, goal, or a bigger picture about what is directly in front of you. So your previous knowledge and thoughts come first when you're drawing uh, inferences about your environment while um, analyzing and exploring your surroundings comes last. This type of processing can be seen in the early stages of development uh, when we learn how to do things like reading. So in the next few moments I'm going to show you a video of one of my younger siblings reading and I want you to pay uh, close attention to um, the mistakes and errors that she's making. Do not turn now put we will now get to the... So one thing that may have popped out at you is how she replaced some of the words on the page with other words that weren't actually in the text. So instead of saying a sentence like, we will never get, she said, we will now get. And notice how this still makes sense and is grammatically correct. This is because when she came across the word never, uh, this was something that she wasn't familiar with and she wasn't familiar with the vocabulary. So instead, she used prior knowledge and prior vocabulary that she had to fill in that blank while uh, making sure that it made sense. This can also be seen when we are reading a text that uh, isn't in the best of handwriting. Um, however, we are still able to read it because we are familiar with uh, the language and its grammar to fill in those blanks that are missing. Now we're going to discuss bottom-up processing, which is primarily driven by exploring your environment and surroundings. So in situations of bottom-up processing, you are studying and exploring the physical features that are in front of you in order to come to that bigger picture. And I like to think of this as taking baby steps in order to come to the bigger picture or goal. This is quite the opposite of top-down processing. It's less about the prior knowledge and information you already have, and it's more about pulling out new information from your surrounding. This type of processing can also be seen in early stages of development, so I provided a, another video of my other sibling reading, and I want you to pay close attention to uh, how she deals with more complex uh, vocabulary. The eyes of a cat watching it. If anyone looked out of their window, even Betty and Mr. Dursley, they wouldn't be able to see anything that was happening down on the pavement. Dumbledore split, split the, the put outer back inside his cloak and sit off down the street toward number four. After listening to her read, uh, it sounded very smooth, but when she came across those complex words, her reading speed seemed to decrease. Some of these words that were complex for her were beady-eyed, slipped, and put out her. When she came across these words, she would sound out every letter and syllable to piece it together until she could identify the whole word. Like I said before, it's about going step by step until you reach or come to that goal. So she was utilizing her surroundings and the information that was given in front of her uh, in order to come to that bigger picture. Another example of bottom-up processing is when we go outside and we may smell uh, the aroma of barbecue. We will then think that someone must be grilling outside. So you're using your senses and environment to come to a conclusion and a final decision. To summarize what we learned, we can think of as top-down processing as more goal-driven and a more quick way to come to that conclusion or bigger picture. You are first giving priority to what you already know that is then followed by your surroundings. While on the other hand, we have bottom-up processing, which is working upwards until we reach that goal. 
So priority is given to the surroundings and senses while your prior knowledge comes last. So now that you know what top-down and bottom-up processing is, I want you to think of the ways uh, that you may use them in your day-to-day -day life and how they may even work together in some ways.